this is the box for my exhaust I got from FedEx. Look at that. Hopefully, everything is still in there because it looked like they just taped it back up from wherever they dropped it and busted it up. So, this is it. All right, let's open it up. During my unboxing video, mm. got recording right now. <laughs> yep, first time seeing it. Man, it's a really nice box. Before <laughs> ah. you open it up, there's a giant scratch in it. Hey, man, don't be jinxing me like <laughs> that, man. Well, I see the clamps, so that's a, that's a good sign. Yep. I'm going to take this outside. I'm going to tell you guys the reason I went with this uh, thermal R&D exhaust is because, um, you know, there's many exhausts out there. There's Corsa, Borla, all those different um, companies. But this one is a little bit different with thermal um, R&D because it kind of used the Heimholtz um, chamber to tune out certain frequencies in the exhaust so it's um not so raspy it's not so loud or it's not um not so droney if that's a word but um you know there's more drone in an automatic car than there is in a in a manual car so pretty much um once i show you the exhaust you'll see um it's from the you know from the mid pipes back um it has the resonator then it has the Heimoltz uh chamber in the back that kind of tucks up um, where the rear bumpers are, which are pretty cool. This uh, Heimel's theory has been around for years now. It was by a German guy named Hermann von Heimel's. Pretty much he uses the a chamber with sound, with air going across it to tune um, certain frequencies out to make the exhaust sound a certain way. It's kind of like if you hold a empty bottle over your mouth and you an empty bottle and you blow in it it makes that noise pretty much you're using the high uh theory um of course the sound is going to change with the size of and with the size of the bottles uh that you use so before my car was pretty much straight pipe and it was pretty obnoxious and loud everywhere it was cool you get a lot of attention um and also you get a lot of unwanted attention and you also get a uh, cops or certain people to notice you that you don't necessarily uh, need to notice you. Also, with car show season and cars and coffee, I get up early on a Saturday or Sunday morning around like 6 or 5.30, depends on where I'm going. And just to be considerate to my neighbors, um, I've kind of, you know, changed it to this because it's not so loud or not so obnoxious and it sounds good once you step on it. So once I get the system in installed, I'll do some more, do another video of the how it looks installed and how it uh, how it runs and not how it runs, but how it sounds at wide open throttle. So as I said, this technology has been around for years. Actually, Dodge engineers used the same technology when they first developed the Viper engine and the airbox of the for the Viper to get the sound that it wants, that they wanted the engine to sound. Also, to me, the best sounding factory exhaust in the world that everybody uh, loves is the Lexus LFA because they have that one tuned to sound just like a F1 engine. Um, so it sounds pretty awesome. So it's kind of like the same theory, the Hymos theory they use to uh, manufacture all the exhaust that they have. They make it across the board for many domestic and import vehicles as well so you know if you guys get a chance go ahead and check out the thermal r&d website great products um it looks awesome in my opinion so just want to put that out there um also you know it's just using it's something different 
and it uses uh, a theory and technology like what I'm used to being a flight engineer with um, on the airplane because certain aircrafts as well use the same theory um, to tune certain frequencies out of um, cars, I mean out of airplanes um, to cut down vibration and extra vibration and wear and tear on a fuselage that will uh, later create cracks. Um, so that's just my opinion on it. It's awesome. Um, can't wait to hear it. Um, I'm sure you guys can't wait to hear it as well. And I'm going to go through and just do a quick walk through outside and have you look at how the system looks laid out compared to how it looks laid out um, next to the factory um, system as well. And uh, I said the videos to come on this in the future well soon and again as usual you know um, please like share and subscribe um, check out my previous video hit that bell icon for future uploads and you know thanks for watching enjoy and join me on this um, mission to 50k on YouTube thanks for watching again um, and continue watching the video here and hope you enjoy it and then you'll hear some sweet music once I have the system um, installed. Put this on the grass. Yeah, uh, this is the Helmholtz. Clamps. We could put it together underneath since it comes in pieces. What's that? I'm guessing it's a pipe. Why do I have this one in red though? Huh. Looks like everything's there. <laughs> That's a, always a good sign. Got me a sticker. Love stickers. Man, they know you. They don't want to advertise they know you. Who? Oh, they, it's already on the car though in blue. Oh. They know I love stickers. Alright. This is the stock Hellcat exhaust. Gotta take my active active valve off for the exhaust. That's the thermal R&D stainless. Look how shiny that thing is. Then it got the Helmholtz resonator. So I'm gonna explain a little bit of that for you and then the tip. But this, we're gonna put on my buddy. Everybody know Killer Mike. We're gonna put this on his car. Jack stands. Exhaust life. Let's get it. Corner with the body screaming, daughter. Never saw the back with.